Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray Star Goddess and I am here to do your divine feminine reading. First and foremost, if y'all hear any weird noises, that is my dryer. I just got done from washing clothes, so now they're in the dryer. That's number one. Number two, follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole. Personal readings are available. Email me at divinelyguided2 at gmail.com. Everything else will be down in the description box below this reading, like my Learn to Row course for beginners. Um, my manifestation notebook, you know, things of that sort will be down in the description box below this reading. So, um, um, Divine Feminine, let me tell y'all, so this was random, um, at first I wasn't gonna do this reading, but you, I was like, you know what, let me just get up, find something to put on and do my makeup, right? So when I was doing my makeup, I started channeling a song by Joe. It's an old song. It's by Joe. It's called Good Girls. So as I'm doing my makeup, I started hearing, I gotta find me a girl. And then my mom like, why the hell I'm, why I'm channeling this? Like, I haven't heard this song in years, right? So Devon Feminine, I believe this song is significant for you. So, I'm going to read the lyrics. This is by Joe, and the song is called Good Girl. This song that came out in the 90s or maybe early 2000s or something, right? So, this is the beginning of the song. He say, I got to find me a girl. Verse 1, sunshine. See, okay, no, I'm not going to sing. I'm going to just read the lyrics. Okay, he says, sunshine. From the first time we met. Helpless, you took my heart, I must confess. Deep in your eyes, there seemed to be a look that said, Hello, is it me you're searching for? Suddenly, suddenly my sunshine turned to rain. I don't know if that will ever come back again. That's what you are, sunshine and rain. Didn't you say you had a man that never belonged within your plans and it hurt so bad, someone tell me, right? And then it say, why are all the good girls taking every time? And why do I keep falling for someone else's dime? Every time I say hello, then they say goodbye. So why are all the good girls taking every time? That song, period, right? So, Devon Feminine, I feel like that song, <laughs> by me channeling that song for you, I feel like that's how somebody feel. Somebody feel like you're taken, Devon Feminine, or somebody feel like they met you at the wrong time. Um... Divine Feminine, I feel like when whoever this person is, this could be a divine masculine or karmic masculine or some dude, some random dude, right? They feel like they met the one, which is you, but it's some type of barrier in between you and this person. Like, either you got a man or they, or this person, they feel that you have a man or this person have a girl and it's some weird shit between two people, Divine Feminine, how a man feel about you. Like, they feel like, okay, Divine Feminine is the one. Divine, How this person look at you, Divine Feminine, they feel like you a good girl. As in, you know, maybe you cook, you clean, you a nurturer, you take care of the kids, you take care of home, you a good lover. You know, so from this person's perspective, they feel like you're a good girl. You're just right for them. However, it's like a but. But, however, also, it is something like, yeah, so either divine feminine, somebody feel like you got a man, or somebody feel like you don't want them. It's some weird shit like that going on, divine feminine. Be aware. <laughs> Be aware. Because it was just weird how I channeled that song, and I haven't heard that song in so long. So y'all may want to go check it out. Go listen to it. Listen to it or pull up the lyrics and read it. Spirit, give me messages for Divine Feminine. What messages do you have for Divine Feminine? 
Is it me you're searching for? Suddenly my sunshine turned to rain. I don't know if a sun, 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 sun. That's what you are, sunshine and rain. It, yeah, divine feminine, you, you sunshine and rain. When somebody think of you, they think of you like sunshine and rain. They think of you like you naughty and nice. They think of you like you sugar and spice. Yeah, it, it's like divine feminine, how this person feel about you. They feel like you... You everything. You all in one. Like you, you sugar and spice. You naughty and nice. You a lady in the streets, but a freak in the sheets. And it's like, what this dude or whoever this person is, this is what they like about you. But, <laughs> but either, you know, you got something else going on with another dude or this man is with uh, another female or something. It's, it's a but. Spirit, give me messages for Divine Feminine. Look. Look. <laughs> the lover's car wants to fly out, okay? Okay, I know what I'm talking about. Give me my, look, the tower. Give me my flowers. Give me my flowers, okay? I know what I be talking about. Spirit, give me messages for Divine Feminine. Give me messages for Divine Feminine. That's what you want, sunshine and rain. I like big hair. I love big, curly hair. I feel like when I wear big, curly hair like this, it gives me that look like I'm the girl next door. <laughs> girl next door, modest, sweet. And I'm the complete opposite, okay? That's on gang. I see people fighting in secrecy. I feel like there's some shit going on behind the scenes between people, amongst people. <laughs> Divine Feminine. Um, the energy I'm picking up on, I feel like, of course, this don't have nothing to do with you. I feel like there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. That if this was to be brought to your attention, your mouth would drop like, what, what, what? Like your mouth would drop. Yeah, Divine Feminine, did you hear that karmic masculine, um, he, he had a, uh, he got into a physical altercation with Karmika and, and Karmika called her brothers. And the brothers and Karmic Masculine was fighting. And her brothers, they jumped Divine Masculine or Karmic Masculine. But Karmic Masculine beat up the, the Karmic brothers. It's some shit like this. And Divine Feminine, if you was to hear this information, you like, what? Look, I got the moon. <laughs> I got the moon with the five of wands, okay? I feel like it's a whole bunch of shit went down behind the scenes. I even feel like this, that scenario I used, I feel like that really did happen. I feel like a, a karmic masculine could have got into it with a karmic and her family members. But this is the Tito. I even feel like the karmic family members not really dealing with her. Because the karmic is still intertwined with karmic masculine or they still messing around after it could have been like some type of altercation between two families or something D divine feminine <laughs> that's song gang i feel like yeah i feel like some shit happened um between two families or between two people something happened and i feel like this should have been the icebreaker or the deal breaker but it was not to where I feel like a karmic, they having issues within their family now because of this situation. And then, of course, you know, I mentioned, I always bring up competition. <laughs> In uh, every video or every other video, I mention how people be in competition with child divine feminine. So we have the moon with the five of wands, okay? People still in competition. Look. 
with the nine of wands, okay? I know what the hell I'm talking about. People still in competition, still, okay? Still in competition with you. This shit gonna forever keep coming out in this reading, in my readings, until when these people finally throw the white flag and give up on stop trying to be in competition with you, Divine Feminine. But as of now, it's gonna continue to pop up in my readings because this is what these people are still doing. Look at the cards. I can't make this shit up. They still look the moon. They still doing this, okay? So divine from the bill world is somebody still in competition with you. They still want. I heard challenge divine from the bill world. Somebody still like challenging you behind the scenes. Somebody is still challenging you behind the scenes. That's on gang. Be aware of that. Still look five of wands with this look with, with whoever this person is. They still challenging you. Somebody's a nuisance. Whoever this person is, they they so annoying, Divine Feminine. Because <laughs> I keep hearing like still, still, and I heard challenge. So it's like this person is still trying to challenge you. They still like... I don't know how old these people are. I don't know how old you are, but I heard this. I feel like somebody still want to fight you. <laughs> I just heard. I don't know how old these people are. Somebody still want to fight. Maybe, I mean, this could be physical, verbal fights, you know, throw insults at each other. I don't know. But I feel like somebody wants to do that with you. Still with the moon. But anywho, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Congratulations if somebody's moving. Somebody's moving or somebody's buying them a house. Congratulations. I see something big coming in for you, Divine Feminine. Whatever this is, um, I feel like something big is coming in for you. And you're going to have to really make a decision. Oh, excuse me, on whatever this is. Prime example of this, like, say if, say if somebody been trying to find them another job or find them a job or find another job, right? And say for the longest you've been trying to manifest landing a new job or finding a job, period, right? And say, for instance, you know, you could have wanted to give up because you felt like, you know, job hunting, this shit is hard. Nobody's calling back. Nobody's emailing. You know, the energy I'm picking up on, something about to happen to somebody to where they're going to have, like, multiple offers on the table. They're going to have multiple, yeah, like, offers on the table to where you're going to have to um, deliberately make a decision. Let your eyes on these um, offers. Yeah, Divine Feminine, I see something big coming in to where you can't just rush in and, and, and say, yeah, uh, yeah, um, I, let me work for y'all. Or, you know, you can't rush. You're going to have to really think long and hard. Like, okay, so this job, they offered me um, $30 an hour, but... Um, the commute is one hour away. And then this job, they offer me $20 an hour, but the commute is 15 minutes away. And then I get paid time, sick time, they offer overtime. You know, you just gonna have to, whatever the case is, I use that for example, but whatever the case is, um, you gonna have to think real long and hard before you make a decision. And like, yes, yeah, if somebody's moving, um, say if somebody's moving and it's, you know, you see uh, three, two or three different houses that you're interested in, or you found other apartment complex, whatever the case is, you found other places and all these are good options, but I advise you to take your time. And making a decision. This whatever whatever something's coming in for you, divine feminine, to where 
I, yeah, it's like this is big. This is big. This is good. Or it could be um, with the Wheel of Fortune. It could be money. We are in income tax season. So, like, say if somebody get that refund, think real long and hard what you're going to spend your money on. Somebody kid need new shoes or divine family, you need new shoes. I heard new shoes, like, yeah, you know, take care of your priorities. So it could be money coming in, divine feminine, and just make sure you doing what you're supposed to be doing with your money. And like, yeah, divine feminine, say if you know you're supposed to be moving or say if you say you know you need to move, right? But at the same time, you want to go shopping and shit, or you want to book trips and shit. Think real long and hard. Hmm, should I book this trip to Mexico? Or, you know, I do need to move. I need to move. I need to get my car fixed. The kids need new shoes. You know, Devon Feminine, take care of your priorities. I have this out here, too. So let me finish showing y'all the cards. So I think I left off at... Let me just start over. So we have the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Wands, all this fire out here. Um, it, it's like when I'm trying to show y'all the cards, I get downloads. So let me tell y'all this. While this fire out here, Divine Feminine, remember I said it's always somebody, it's always a person that's in competition with you. When this person think of you, it's like... It's fire in their eyes. They eyes turn red when they think of you. Like you make this person. <laughs> but I feel like it's a karmic. It could be a woman. <laughs> like when I think of you. When this person think of you, Divine Feminine, you're like the scum in between their toes. Or you like, <laughs> that's how this person feel about you. <laughs> Don't know who this person is. Look, we got the nine of wands. We got the justice. We got the seven of cups. We got the moon with the world, okay? And last but not least, we have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, with the will of fortune and the world, I feel like divine feminine, something big is about to transpire to where this could be like a, a, a life-making uh, decision. That's not what I tried to say. Like a... This is going to be a big decision, life-changing. Yeah, life-changing decision. That's what I meant to say. I see like a life-changing, uh, some type of, I heard opportunity. I feel like some type of opportunity is going to come in. An opportunity is going to present itself to you. Something's going to fall in your lap. I feel like you're going to be happy. Divine Feminine, be aware. I, I see you, uh, somebody could be receiving good news. I, I see somebody receiving good news. Divine Feminine, if you have a son or a daughter, or if you have both, I feel like something is coming in to where you're going to be happy and the kids are going to be happy by this too. So, look, yeah, prime example, say if it's some tax, income tax money or something, yeah, let's go shopping. Yeah, my kids need new shoes, new clothes. And you tell your kids, get dressed, we're going to the mall. You're going to be happy, the kids are going to be happy. It's, it's something like this. I see somebody... I see everybody being happy in a in a household. So if it's you and your kids, or if you have one kid, it's like in a household, y'all gonna be happy. I have this out here too. I heard breakthrough. Divine feminine, be aware of some type of breakthrough. Cause we do have the justice. We have the justice with the world. Um, and with the will of fortune. I, I see some type of breakthrough coming in for you. Oh, I heard a long time coming. Whatever this is, it's been a long time coming. Somebody about to get like they, they big break. Like they first big break or something. I don't know what this is, but it, it's something. Whatever this is, I feel like it, it's rightfully yours. This was meant to happen. And whatever this is, I feel like it's supposed to been happened to you a long time ago. Maybe the stars wasn't aligned or, you know, divine timing was at play. So, I, I feel like something was supposed to happen for you years ago, a month ago, six months ago. 
20 years ago, right? I heard 2024. I feel like in 2000, in 2024, y'all about to get like y'all first big break. Don't know what this is. So in tw if like for example, 2024, somebody about to be like a, a first time home buyer or somebody about to get like a damn somebody about to buy their dream car or somebody about to be like a, a business owner. Somebody business gonna take off. Boom. Somebody platform gonna take off. Boom. Uh, I'm getting like a big break. It's going to be a big break for you, Divine Feminine. And whatever this is, look, my hands, I'm rubbing up my hands. This could be money. I see money coming in. Money, co yeah. Money coming in, palms itching, and yeah. I don't know what this is, Divine Feminine, but the energy I'm picking up on, this is good. This is real good. And this going to be so good to where, why you happy? I heard rejoicing. It's going to be a bitch in the background. <gasps> look, mad. And Divine Feminine, this you, Divine Feminine. You going to be, look, you the, look, the will of fortune, you the world. And it's going to be a person. Look, in the background, look, of course they in the background because they too coward to do this to your face. So it's going to be a person. They're going to be in the background. Side eye you, me mugging you and shit. And the whole time, I heard rags to riches. Somebody about to go from rags to riches or somebody about to be hood rich, bitch. I don't know. With the with the income tax, hood rich. Somebody may get back like 10000 Somebody, somebody could be getting back 10000 9000 11000 7000 I'm getting money. Like, y'all, my, my right ear been itching. My palms itching. So, I don't know who this is for. <laughs> But whatever this is, this is good. Yeah. With the will of fortune, with the moon, it's been a long time coming. Period. Yeah, Divine Feminine, be aware. Like, if somebody, like, say if somebody um, trying to buy a house, it's going to be you and, like, two other applicants. Right? And it's going to be some shit like the other applicants. Um, They got good, they got, I mean, y'all all got good jobs, but maybe, okay, we're going to, okay. Y'all all got good jobs, but it's like the other applicants, Um, it could be like a couple. And they both work. So they salary combined is like 78000 80,000, 100,000, right? And then Divine Feminine, for example, like, say if you a single mom and, you know, you make like 45,000 a year. Shit, even 35,000 a year, right? It's going to be something like, you going to end up getting this house even though the couple... They have bank statements. They have joint accounts. They have all these things. They got good credit and all types of shit, right? But with this justice, you have one, two, three, four. You have four major arcanas in this reading. When it's two or more major arcanas, it's definitely some change and transformations going on. I heard taking place to where the vibe, be aware like things working out in your favor to where it's kind of, it, it's going to come across like you lucky. Damn, Divine Feminine, you lucky. Like, what? How, how you end up getting that 2024 Mercedes Benz and your credit score is 560? You lucky. Divine Feminine, be able, I feel like it's going to be a series of events to where the shit don't make sense. Like, hold on, wait a minute. How the hell you got this job, Divine Feminine, and all you got is, you're not even qualified. 
You don't even have a, a damn, you ain't even graduate from college. You just got a high school diploma, right? And like this job, um, you have to have like a damn bachelor's degree, <laughs> right? But it's going to be something, and divide for me, it's going to be something like you still apply for the, the damn job anyway. Or it's going to be like they going to come across your resume or something. And they and on your resume, it don't have nowhere on there that you graduated from college. But yet, they still going to give you the position, even though the requirements are you have to have a bachelor's degree to even be considered for this position. It's going to be so, be aware of things going to happen for you and it's going to come across like you lucky you lucky you blessed that's a blessing that's a miracle what how how the hell how, how the hell they 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 um gave you this house they gave you this house and you don't even make you I don't stay in the house y'all I live in an apartment so I don't really know how they go but it's going to be some shit like the the mortgage you gonna have to make three times the rent, three times the mortgage, and really you don't. But they still gonna approve you. They still gonna give you the house. They still gonna give you the car. Your credit score four hundred. Be a what's gonna be shitty. It don't make sense, but it's just gonna be falling in your lap. And it's gonna be people. They gonna be feeling some type of way about this divine feminine. Be a well. That's some game. I just heard this. I see somebody could be going to jail. Something's going on. Something, I feel like something is going on at the police station. Because I heard, do I want to pursue this? Do I want to even pursue this? Somebody could have like an open case. Divine Feminine, I don't know why this is in your reading. Somebody could have like an open case on them. And with this moon out here, with the moon, with the justice, I feel like Divine Feminine, I, you could be in trouble with the police. But with this moon, I feel like you don't even know that you're in trouble with the police. <laughs> trouble with the police and they don't even know it and I feel like the reason why they don't know this because I was picking this up heavy and this could have been in like 2022 in 2022 and maybe a couple of in my readings in 2023 just only a few in 2023 but in 2022 I kept picking up how karmics was um making up uh, false police report, not, not false police reports. The karmics was um making reports. Well, yeah, false police reports, or they was uh, like making false claims against you, divine feminine. And I, I remember back in 2022, I kept seeing like a karmic went to the police station so many times. It's like a karmic went to the police station so many times on you, divine feminine. Um. I heard liberated, but with this, this, um, we got the moon in the, the world right here, and I heard liberated. So, Divine Feminine, I feel like there has been, like, an open case against you. A karmic could have complained on you on multiple occasions, right? I heard foul. I feel like somebody foul just been sitting on a, on a detective's desk or something like that. Divine Feminine, I feel like your file has been sitting on a, 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 de a detective desk, but they didn't bother to, like, reach out. Or they didn't bother to, uh, to like, yeah, reach out. However, I feel like this detective, they looked you up, though. They looked you up. If y'all have social media, they, was, uh, they had access to your platforms. Like, if you have Facebook, you got Instagram, you got, um, I heard dating sites, too. 
even if you're on dating sites, I feel like the this police officer or detective, they have access to all this information. And whatever they gather, I feel like it's a detective. I feel like whatever they gathered on their own, they feel like this case wasn't worth their time. Or they feel like pursuing you, it, it wasn't worth their time. Because how they look at you, Divine Feminine, they feel like, you know, when I, how this detective feel, they feel like when I look at Divine Feminine, she's not a criminal. Like, she don't have no background. Or if she do have a background, the shit was so old, 10 years old, 5 years old. Or, you know, I heard revamped. Like, how this detective look at you, they don't look at you like life-threatening. I feel like a karmic could have said that, um, you know, Divine Feminine, she made several threats. She said she was going to kill me. She said she was going to kill my family. She said she was going to kill me and karmic masculine, right? So when a detective looked you up, Divine Feminine, the detective feel like, this part, I heard, come on now. How the detective feel, they feel like, come on now. This person don't even give off crazy, or this person don't even give off, they going to kill somebody. Divine Feminine, with this world out here, because I have the world with the Wheel of Fortune. On um, both of these cards, these women, they smiling. Like, they smiling, they happy, right? I feel like a detective, they've been, like, pondering if they want to bring this case to your, your attention. So, not, like, try to prosecute you or anything like that, but they just want to um, bring awareness, like... Hey, Divine Feminine, you know, I just want you to know that it's been like some type of crazy karmic chick. You know, she she complained on you so many times. And uh, what's up with this chick? Like, you know, Divine Feminine, you know, to be honest with you, I seen you on Facebook. I even seen pictures of you on your dating apps because, you know, I had to look you up. And, you know, from what I've seen, you seem so happy. You seem so content. And why is this person still bothering you? Why is this person still... Saying, I heard lying. I feel like even the detective knows this person was lying. And it's like the detective, they thinking like, man, should I tell Divine Feminine this? Do I want to bring this up to her attention? Or do I even want to bother her with this bullshit? Or should I just keep this shit to myself? Because this is some bullshit. It's like they want to, they, they've been thinking like, should they let you know? And then at the same time, they like, they don't want to scare you neither. I heard at peace. I feel like whoever this detective is with the justice, with the seven of cups, and I'm looking at this man with the moon. It's like when they look at you, Divine Feminine, they feel like you're at peace. If y'all don't have social media, they're still able to see your picture in their database, right? They still, somebody, still, unless you have like an old mug shot or something. They still able to see your picture if you're not on social media. And how the police officer feel, they feel like, you know, to me, I feel like Divine Feminine is at peace. I don't even feel like Divine Feminine is worrying about this karmic. And I heard dating apps. So if y'all on dating apps, how the police officer feel, they feel like, okay, if Karmika keep um, making these false reports on Divine Feminine, saying how Divine Feminine keep harassing you know, Karmika and Karmic Masculine, then why is Divine Feminine on Tinder? Why is Divine Feminine on fucking um, Hinge? Why is Divine Feminine on uh, Facebook dating? Like, you know, why is Divine Feminine on all these dating apps if she's so crazy and deranged over this one man, which is Karmic Masculine? So it's like a, a detective, they know like a Karmic, I heard hating off of you. I feel like they know this information. If y'all been falsely accused of something, Divine Feminine, but the T is that I feel like with this moon, you don't know that somebody falsely accused you of doing something. But whatever this is, you're going to be liberated from this. You're going to be liber liberated. I heard exonerated. I heard that. I heard not guilty, Divine Feminine. If, if y'all fighting cases, 
if y'all fighting cases or having trouble with the judicial system, I don't know. I heard liberated. I heard exonerated. I heard not guilty. Okay? Divine Feminine, I feel like you want to be set free. Something is going to happen to where this person, a karmic woman, or like a karmic man or something, it's like they have no choice but to set you free. They're going to have no choice but to leave you alone. It's going to be some shit like the detective, they're going to end up taking the karmic into custody for making false reports on you, right? So it's like by the karmic going to jail, it's going to force her to finally leave you alone. <laughs> it's something like this. The vibe, I feel like you're going to be set free. And remember I told you so much shit happened behind the scenes. Remember at the beginning of my reading, I said so much happened behind the scenes. I feel like it, this was one of the, um, one of the situations or one of the, whatever that happened behind the scenes, which is somebody could have made so many reports on you. Yeah, I don't know who this is for, but this is for somebody. But whatever this is, Divine Feminine, you know, I feel like you don't have nothing to worry about. You might, somebody might get called in for questioning, though. Group one. I feel like it's a detective. It's different groups. Group one, I feel like I heard leave it alone. I feel like a detective, they're going to leave it alone. Group two, a detective may call you in just to let you know what's going on. Group three, I feel like a detective is going to call you in to hear your side of the story. Or they're going to ask you a couple of questions. But once they hear your side of the story, it's like case closed. Or, it, 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 you know... Something about group three, something about your side of the story. Like, once they hear your side of the story, they're going to believe you, too. Whatever you're going to say, it's going to make sense to the detective, and they know they you're not lying. Because they, they study body language, your posture... Your tone of voice. They know like by a person's tone of voice, they can they can tell if a person is scared. Um they can tell if a person is nervous just by like their tone of voice or how they um their mannerisms, right? And whatever you give off divine feminine, they know you not lying. I don't know, yeah, I don't know who this is for, it's just in y'all reading. But you're going to be liberated. That's on game. And that's all I have for this reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.